in no time guys so um potatoes as you can see are vigorously boiling i cut that down a little bit i forgot i got some uh porcini mushrooms here that are dried and these are very very fragrant very funky i love porcinis man so i'm gonna steep these in a little bit of warm water here just to kind of rehydrate them a little bit before i add them into the mix and not a lot of those because we'll get a lot of flavor i'll mince those up and use those so my skillet is um very close to temp here as you'll see, I'm gonna add a little olive oil there. And you know, you always wanna add olive oil to a hot pan and heat that up. You'll see when that olive oil gets real fast and smoky. So that's a good, good time there, temps right. I don't have the fan on because it's too loud for filming. So look at that. When you hear that nice, it's like a sear, like a, like a concert, like a U2 concert in my book. All right, so we're gonna let those steaks sear. I've got it on a little bit medium high over here on the grill. So we're gonna let those sear. I'm gonna get this out of the way. And then we'll start getting a little, a bit of our kale prep ready. And then we're gonna check on the potatoes in a minute. Uh, cutting board, I'm gonna give that a quick minutes. Actually, I'll put that aside. One thing I have is a lot of cutting boards and a lot of knives here. We'll use our aluminum right here. Roll Tide, baby! How about it? Which way does it go? It goes this way. Here's Florida. No, here's Florida. And here's where we are. We are here right now. This is the bay, and that's us. Um, also, when you're cutting, we're going we're gonna to take a damp towel and put it down here. One of the good tips when you're slicing and dicing is always put a a wet towel or a wet cutting board or something under your cutting board. That keeps it from slipping around, okay? Steaks are searing, potatoes are going. I'm gonna get some garlic and shallots out of here. Get some garlic. And... I know we got some shallots in here. Somewhere, there's a shallot. So we just got some fresh peeled garlic. Uh, when you think about garlic, this is um, for the veggies. You know, if we're gonna cook all that down, that looks like a lot, but it's gonna cook down like spinach. There's four of us eating tonight, so if you think about garlic for four people, you don't wanna hurt them, so we go about four cloves. So we'll get like a clove a piece. That's not too bad, huh? What do you think? That's good. That's good. Sounds good. Give me the yes, the affirmative. Uh, shallot wise, I think, uh, let's get a nice fat shallot there. Put these aside. And shallot's just a regular onion. So I like to cut it as such, treat it as such. Um, you have a root end and a stem end. Where the root end is, I like to keep that on. That'll hold it together, you know. And I know this lighting is terrible, you guys. It's not about filming. All right, so just cross cut, and then I can go through now and slice it. And the rings of the onions or rings of the shallot will already be separated real nice for a dice. Nice for a dice, huh? See that? That was my flow, my freestyle. Um, and then you can always run over it a little bit. You got a little bit of the big chunks in there. That looks pretty good right there. Probably not even going to cut that up. We'll save that for a rainy day. The garlic, we're just going to cut real small, just small slice. Place that down to the end. See all these nice little rings of garlic? Those will be so tasty with that kale. Keeping the knife tip down and safe. I'm gonna get rid of those little stems there. This garlic's like starting to sprout, man. I'm gonna cool it for a minute. All right, so we got our little mixture here. That's gonna be for our sauteed veg veggies. Look at these steaks, man. So let's check these out, see how they're going. I'm gonna flip these, they got a nice crust on them. Now, um, one of the things too with this skillet here, um, you, know, you get it hot, I like to just cook them all the way in here. Another good way to do things with an iron skillet, big or small, if it's iron, is you can finish in the oven. If you got a big thick steak, get it good and hot, get it nice in that initial sear, and then right now flip it, and finish it in the oven if you wanna do that. I like to just stay right on the stove top with it. Um, I got to heat this pan up now in the front. Again, about medium high. Um, we got our kale, we got our mushrooms. Mushrooms are going to go in afterwards. You can see the butter and the cream are starting to melt. 
So we'll just have that nice and warm in time for the potatoes. I'm gonna check one of these potatoes out um, and see about what time we have left. I'll grab a pretty good size one. All right. And you can see they're already kind of getting soft. You know that? That went through pretty good. So, woo, hot. <coughs> I think they're about ready. I oh, wasn't even if it's that hot, I like, it chokes on. Some potato went down my windpipe, man. It's okay, I don't have COVID. I feel potato, I have, I have Idaho. They're just about ready though, so that's awesome. Everything's gonna come together right on time. Steaks are cooking. Let's get these veggies going. And then we'll uh, let those steaks rest while we finish up the um, mushrooms in that pan. See, I'm gonna sear the edge of this a little bit, some of that fat. Just sear it off. And then with these, I just like the touch to done this. You know, this one's really just about ready to come off. I like a medium rare. I don't like to overdo it. So, I'm gonna turn these potatoes off. Let me get a colander ready over here. I'm messing this thing. Two chefs nowhere to be found. Uh, we'll need a hand towel for that. This is starting to get warm, so I'm gonna slide these edges in here. Garlic and shallots going down. We're just gonna start sauteing with those. And once we get those softened up, I'm gonna add some more olive oil to the pan and then we'll uh, start tossing in that kale. Potatoes coming on over. Woo! Steam it up, steam it up. Oh my gosh. That feels so good. Little, little Idaho potato facial. All right, and I go right back in the pot with those. It's already nice and hot, it's conditioned, so the potatoes will be good. And then from there, I've got the stove off. I'm going to dump about half of my butter and cream mixture into there. See how these are going. Tie my apron again. I'm going to pull the right steak off. It's a little bit thinner than the other one. That means we're ready to start resting. I'm going to tie my apron. I don't know. Everybody else doing good out there? So you are on a ship? Where are you guys at? Are you all home? Are you quarantined? I don't know. We're doing crazy. What kind of plate is this? That's an Alabama plate. We'll use that. It's a little bit faded though, unfortunately. All right, so that one's coming off. The other one's gonna have just really not much longer. All right, this one's gonna be more of our medium. All right, you see the veggies are starting to cook. So I'm gonna add some more olive oil, let that heat up. And that'll help me coat the kale with that. And this again is baby kale. I have a thick pot, you know, instead of just sauteing, I have a big, bigger, much bigger pot because this stuff is gonna cook down. You need a lot of room in there. I'll use another tong here. You hear that sizzling, that's good. Once we can get this stuff coated, have a look, man, have a look in arm. Looking good. Starting to get that shine. So once I get a little olive oil coated on all these, I'm gonna add some salt, pepper, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of stock and cook this down with a little bit of white wine, probably for starters, and then finish it with some stock. All right. Well, that looks good. I'm pull this other steak off the rest. All right, and we know what's going down over here. There's gonna be some mushrooms now. Kale's starting to look good. We're gonna add some salt into there. 
Caledonia salt. We got all kinds of salt. We got kosher salt here, sea salt. Here's some pink salt. Why don't we use a little bit of that in there? Um, you know, Maldon salt, very good. There's a lot of different kinds out there. Gray salts. I got gray salt. I got stinky salt. I got vampire salt. There's a lot of different salts out there. And they're all fun to, to cook with and experiment with. All right, see that? It's coming down nice. Cut this down a smidge. Then what I want to do, I need another, another piece of garlic. I'm going to put a little garlic in with those mushrooms. Couple more quick cloves. Steak, you come over here and rest. You be safe. It's getting cold. It's getting wild in here. I'm gonna get my uh, mushrooms right in the pan there. Let's pull them off. This is a little bit warm. Put a little bit of olive oil on there. Put on the outside. I'm gonna get a little more garlic in there. Ideally, I'd start with the garlic, but. We're just going everything start to finish here. Add some flavor in there. This will get finished with a lot of butter too. I mean, that's going to be the key there. A lot of salt. A nice pinch there. I got some softened butter here, I hope. Let me peek. Oh yeah, we got butter. I'm going to take a little nugget of that. Already softened up, throw that in the pan. All right, so we'll get these cooking. I'm gonna crack some pepper in there. These steaks are going for a meal today. Look at this. Backed into the fridge. He broke one of my, look at these beautiful refrigerator magnets here. My Bahrain magnet, refrigerator magnet busted. How cool is that though? But look around here, man. Bahrain, Romania. A lot of bases on here for sure, man. I'm sure there's some Gitmo. What do we see? Look around, you see any good ones? Djibouti in the house, Rhoda in the house. Um, where else? I don't know, it's hard to find. Look at this, the OG, that's the Warlords now. That's not the Mess Lords, that's actually the Warlords. That's the real McCoys there. All right, let me get these potatoes mashed. Mushrooms are going to turn a little bit. Got a lot of wooden scrapers. This is another cool little tool jar over here, my little CIA jar. You got more crazy tools in there. And these, man, they're just going to cook down in those meat juices. You got the spices and everything from there. All you need. I'm going to add those porcinis in there. Turn this kale down a little bit. Find some white wine. How about this is a uh, Marshall Hill? Oh, excuse me, Mirror Hill Proprietor Series, family grown Alberino. So this is an Italian varietal. I'm gonna pop that off. And wine keys are over here. I can't do the old school wine key. I'm probably gonna break this one if I use it. Should we go old school? This is actually a grapevine wine key. This is the old, old, old school where you gotta just try to, I'm probably gonna break this thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Between the legs. Pull it out. Yikes. All right, a little bit of wine in there. Take that cook down. And that kale's gonna be ready to go. Potatoes. Oh, smell that. Mm. You like kale? Not just for salads. All right, so kale's coming. God, this place is a mess. Cooking so fast and furious for this. That's what happens when the video runs behind. Anyway, the mushrooms look good. I'm gonna taste these so you can always adjust seasoning of your going. They're good. A little pepper. All the flavor from that meat is in there. I'm slide these back. Potatoes to the front. So 
this is a nice, fast and furious, about 30 minute meal. All right, see how this looks down here? See how that's coming in? Looks like we'll be able to do the whole batch. All right. So we got all, but just, just milk, I mean, excuse me, heavy cream and butter in there and the boiled smashed potatoes. It'll soak all that up. I like them nice and chunky like that. So these are ready to go. Everything's coming together almost at once. So this is a way to just to cook, to cook fast, to get it done. Um, as long as you have all your stuff ready and you're out and about, it can happen fast, 30 minutes. All right. Steaks are resting up. The, uh, the mushrooms are almost ready. Got that little bit of butter that we finished it off with. I mean, again, we added those portobellos in there. We got some, uh, let me get these uh, cremini's in there. These ones that we steeped. So they're nice and soft now. They'll add a whole nother funky woody flavor, but I'm gonna dice them up small so they mix all in there. In the pan? You following me, Arn? You got me? I'm following you. All right, so they're good. I'm sure the lighting is horrendous, but again, it's going to be a great meal. All right, so this is done. That can turn off. These are just about done. The potatoes are done. Let's get a bowl for that. The kale, let me taste this. Oh, kale's great. That wine. All right, we'll put a little salt in there with the kale. And that should be good to go. Let's get some serving plates. Get rid of all this stuff. Here, this is B-roll. You gotta focus on the cans right now. I'm just stashing all my stuff. Zoom in on the shrooms, there you go. So, potatoes, ready to come out. Let me get a spatula. I hate we couldn't do this live, guys, but apparently I don't have the bandwidth. All right, so see how that nice golden, these potatoes? That's those Yukons we used. And then if you'll see, now reality is, you know, they look good, they look creamy. They could even handle more if you wanted to do a little more half of that was about four ounces and four ounces. And I think I had roughly like 12 potatoes in there, but they were very small. So I ended up going down. But like I said, you can always do extra and uh, it's not gonna go to waste. All right, get that out of the way. There's the potatoes ready to go. All right, steaks over here. Throw that juice right in with the mushrooms. Mushrooms right over the top of those babies. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Good enough to eat, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Woo! Uh, kale's over here, ready to go. So let's wipe this stove up a little bit before mom gets in there, okay? She's coming in. You know what it's like, messy galley. It's not a cool galley. So. We'll tighten this up now. The kale, you will know, see how all that cooked down. About halfway through the process, I could have just added the other box, but I just wanted to get it all going. So, kale's ready to go. I'll probably cook another batch of that for the family. Uh, we got some ham going in, some other things going in for our happy Easter dinner. I know you guys are probably gonna be seeing this tomorrow because we couldn't do the live. But, um, other than that little <laughs> bit of kale, let's see, I'm gonna actually put this Right over here, let's kind of, let's set this up for a nice serving platter here, okay? We're gonna put our kale right here. Mm. I'm gonna put some mashed potatoes on the other side, and this is how we go to the table with it, all right? This will be our backup. You hear that? Even the bird liked it. That was my, my bird. All right, how about a little parsley? 
you have some Italian flat leaf parsley. I don't like the curly parsley, it's just so, so beagle. So much like grass roots. I'm gonna flip this board. They all have two sides. All right, this is just Italian flat leaf parsley. I, I use this a lot for garnish, as well as, um, you know, in different recipes. Um, and then the green stuff, the real, real curly parsley, I do like in like chimichurri. All right, a little bit of that, a little parsley, we're ready to go. A little extra. Now we're gonna, we're gonna eat and then we're gonna clean up. So that's a little quick uh, cooking demo with Panini Pete, seared steak. You know what, before we even let you go, we gotta try some of this, don't we are? Oh yeah. I mean, we can't just like cook it and then just like walk away and say, there you go. So let me get a knife over here. One of our, our handy dandy steak knives. Look at this brute. Yes, it's a Guy Fieri knife. I get a lot of little perks working with Guy. All right, look at that. All right, so let's check out the steak. See how that came out. Mm, 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 mm. So if you look at that steak, nice and pink, mid-rare the way we like it. Mushrooms on there. Oh my God, is that good? That rub is really good. Nice salt crust on it. Great flavor, the mushrooms totally balance that out. Oh my God. You guys gotta do that. And if you don't like ribeye, do a filet. Do a, uh, you know, New York strip, whatever you like. These potatoes look amazing. Is that nice and golden? Fluffy, creamy. Mm, they need more salt and pepper. After I smashed it, I didn't adjust the seasoning. So I'm gonna add a little more just topical on the table if we need to crack it. But the texture's perfect. That buttery flavor, the milk, or excuse me, heavy cream in there. Kale already tried, I know it's delicious. And good for you. Look, mom, we're eating kale. And again, if you don't like wine, just a little stock to deglaze that and help cook it down. It needs that moisture, it needs to wilt down. Um, but anyway, a great meal. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, me and my fellow mess lords, we love coming out and cooking for you guys and bringing you a Fork Fill of Freedom tour. We can't wait to get back out there on a base or a ship or even a boat. We've been on subs like, you know, the Chicago, the Big E, you know, the Stennis, Lottie Stones. We got a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool souvenirs. We got that in Naples, that in Guam, that in Puerto Rico. We love you guys. So uh, we're happy to uh, share a little bit of home cooking with you during the holidays and any time. We're gonna have more mess lords coming on every week while we're having these little bit of uh, you know lockdown. So we can't be out there to see you. We're gonna send you some videos. So thank you for guys, everything you do, guys and gals. Thank you to MWR, Navy Entertainment, and Navy Exchange, man. We appreciate you, we love you. And uh, this is Panini Pete out. Go Navy.